最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。我、哦、当强烈的信念，让命运都无言，浪漫成。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想的爱是深爱，想不尽的存在却无处不在。维持爱到伤害，愿做爱,爱，黯然很多心海。感情一生挂怀，最无私的深爱是绝不要想的。爱。Liang Shang came back here for revenge, for the unbearable pain you caused when you took Liang Shang from her four years ago. So Man said so. Mm -hmm. You think I'd care about what she says? Tianyu, a word of advice. Whether she's back for unfinished business or for revenge, you should not let her stay. We won't have any peace if that girl remains here. You're being paranoid. Here, put a facial mask before you sleep. What is that medicine for? It helps me sleep. Are you having a hard time sleeping? Mm-hmm. Since I got separated from my brother. I'm going on a business trip in a couple of days. How can I leave you like this? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I've been looking for a space to rent. I won't do anything foolish. I'll be very busy. I'm gonna take a shower. Good night. Mm -hmm. Tianyu, sorry to disturb you. I called because I'm going on a business trip in two days, but I think Jiang Shang is not in a very good state these days. I'm a bit worried. Okay, I see. I'll take care of her. And no need to worry. Thank you so much for that. Feel free to call me anytime if you need to. Okay. Long time no see. How have you been doing? Mm, I'm good. What about you? Getting used to life in France? France is a very romantic country. Liang Shang and I have been extremely happy there. And my brother... How's he doing now? He's doing great. He's busy. He's always traveling. Dedicated to his work. Has he recovered his memory? If his memory came back, then he should have looked for his little sister. Didn't you come back with him this time? Um, he went on a trip some days ago. He hasn't come back yet. I returned to the country to attend to some things. It's been years now, so I thought we'd have coffee. A business trip? Has he gone on a trip? Or has he gone missing?
What do you mean? Haven't you found him yet? How did you know? Did he come to see you? Now Shang's my brother. If he came to see me, I won't keep it from anyone. You don't have to make an excuse to come and ask me. What about the Chungs? Haven't they found him yet? Hello? Any news about my brother? I'm still working on it. Oh. Please let me know the moment you hear from him. Don't worry too much. Go get some rest. If you can't sleep, just count sheep until you doze off. Okay. Uh, okay. I need to rest. Good night. Good night. Zheng Sheng went to Dalian during her second year in college. We found out she took quite a number of part-time jobs, and then came back a month ago. She's currently staying with her friend, a Miss Jin Liang. This is the address of Jin Liang's apartment. It's a 30-minute drive from the hotel. Mr. Chung, I know it's not my place, but your health is the top priority. You have to take your time before doing things. I see. Thank you, Uncle Chen. But don't tell my whereabouts in China to my grandpa or anyone from the family. Very well. I would always walk on the streets we used to pass by, and the bridges. We used to walk on hoping to find that boy who is pale, as snow. If you happen to see a boy who's looking for someone along the street, with sad and beautiful eyes, please remember to ask for me if his name is Liang Shang. More than anything, Please tell him, his sister Zhang Sheng has been waiting for him to come home all these years. Zheng Sheng. Excuse me. Do you have a patient named Zheng Sheng? She's just been admitted. Wait, let me check. Yes, there is. How is she doing, nurse? She's out of danger now. She's staying in the ward, sir. Oh. Why is she here? What happened to her? She was hit by a car and someone brought her here and left two phone numbers. The first didn't answer. The second was yours. Someone left my number? Mm hmm Is there anything for us to worry about? No serious injuries, but right now she's not in a good state of mind. She has a mild concussion, with symptoms of headache, tinnitus, slow response. 
and even hallucination. But don't worry, sir. I'm sure after a few days of rest, she'll fully recover. Daniel, I saw my brother. Liang Sheng? Yes. I really saw my brother. I'm sure it was him. Um... Where did you see him? I... I was walking in the street when a... A car passed by in front of me. And Liang Sheng was in the car. I swear. Daniel, I really saw him. Believe me, it's really him. Hey, hey. Get well first. I know he'll show up. When you get better. My brother will not leave me behind. Daniel, promise me. You will help me look for my brother. Okay. Okay? I promise you. Okay. I promise I will do everything I could. We'll look for him together. But you rest first, okay? It's all right. Xinxia, please find out for me if Liang Sheng has really come back and where he's staying now. Okay. Don't show us. I'm afraid that someday I would suddenly forget you again. I can't let you get hurt the same way again. I can't come back to you. I'm sorry. Uh, Uncle Chen. Please take a seat. Thanks. you wouldn't come to see me oh please don't say that miss anyway what did you want to see me for i went to Liang Sheng's home in france but i couldn't find him i guess you must have gone back to china i just couldn't get through to Liang Sheng. 
I also went to his house in China, but again he wasn't home. Uncle Chen, could you please tell me where Liang Sheng is? I have no idea. You've been with Liang Sheng all this time. No one would know, except for you. Uh, miss, I hope you can understand that I won't say things I'm not supposed to say. Uncle Chen, all these years, you've seen with your own eyes how I treat Liang Sheng. During the last four years, I left everything behind to stay with Liang Sheng in France. I often think you are on the same page as me. Because both of us wish him well from the bottom of our hearts. And we took care of him sincerely. Uncle Chen, am I not worthy of your trust? You didn't get this from me. Have some water. Thanks, Uncle Chen. When I went to your home and saw the note you left there, I figured you'd gone back. Why did you suddenly come back? I've got something to do here. Well, you should have at least told me, so that I could have come back with you. You know, it's such a long and boring flight. I could have been your companion. It's okay. I don't need a companion. Did... you remember anything that led to this? Is there anything I should remember? <laughs> Nothing at all. Let's go sightseeing together in the next day or two. Shanghai has many interesting places we could visit. Why don't you go back? If you have nothing to do here, I've got some work to do. Mm. Then I'll leave you to it. I'll be seeing you. Sir. I thought I made it clear about what you should say, and shouldn't say, Uncle Chen. I thought... your whereabouts must only be kept from the Chung family. From everyone. I'm sorry. Uncle Chen, I don't want to be disturbed again. I understand. What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, yes. It has a good view and good lighting. This is just perfect for doing design work. <laughs> Thank you for finding such a nice place for me, sister. Now that you've got your own place, you'll have more creative possibilities later on. A woman, I believe, should have a place of her own to do things she likes and gives play to her potential. That way, she can find her true self. Mm-hmm. By the way, did you find Liang Shang? Liang Shang has come back in the country, but then nobody knows where he is. Really now? How can my sister not know where Liang Shang is? <laughs> <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> Have a good rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Go back to work. Don't worry about me. How can I not worry about you? My heart almost jumped out the moment I got the call. Promise me. Rest your mind. And don't torment yourself. I will keep looking for him, like I promised. Mm. Go to work. Don't let me hold you up. Actually, I blame myself. I shouldn't have suggested you go to Paris. You got your hopes up. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself too much. Now Liang Sheng did not contact any in the family. 
Even Mr. Chen doesn't know where he is. You know your brother best. He must have his reasons for doing so. He'll probably be back when his plans are done. Mm. All right. See you tomorrow. Have a good rest. Mm. Why are you here? Are you going out? Yes. I want some fresh air, so I'm going for a walk. You want to look for Liang Shang, don't you? What if by any chance... I meet him on the street? That's why I'm here. To give you some information about Liang Shang. Where is he? We've gone to every hospital and the police stations and found no patient with the same name or similar features as Liang Shang. No news is good news. He should be all right. Do you still want to go out? I'll walk with you. Thank you so much, Tianyo. Let's go.
Tenyo. Tenyo, you can't go on like this. After a long and hard day, you stay up and you work all night. What is this? Who are you, Superman? You're not invincible. I don't do this every day. Well, I can't argue with that. Even though you don't, how long will it be like this? Will you take care of yourself? How can you take it? Shh. Hi, Tianyo. I've already signed the lease. Already? You didn't ask me to look at it first. It doesn't matter. I can do it myself anyway. Okay. Congratulations. Well, I guess you will soon have a flower shop of your own. I'm finally gonna open a flower shop. My childhood dream is finally coming true. If my family could see me, they'd certainly be happy for me, wouldn't they? They would. Ben Shang would be delighted that you've done a good job. What's the location? When are you going to set up the shop? Do you need some help? No, Jin Yang will be back tonight. She'll be helping with the cleanup tomorrow. Okay, just send the address to me, and I'll go visit you. Deal. Goodbye for now. Bye. Days have passed, and I didn't see that white car again. Perhaps I really was just hallucinating. this? Uh, nobody. Let's go. Welcome to Blossoms. Why are you here? So I could be your first customer. Congratulations. <laughs> You're giving a flower to a flower shop owner? You're right. Should have been a red packet. For a great beginning. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. Now it's time for you to go to work. Open it first. So mysterious. You've been so busy recently, you need a break. Don't be late, okay? Thank you, guys. Please forward it for me.
Group message? Not very personal. I'm too busy. <laughs> Hi. I would like to order some flowers. Okay. Do you have any special request? I'd like to send it to a girl whom I care a lot but don't know how to let her know. We met again after so many years. In this case, red geranium is a good fit. It expresses that she's always in your heart and that you're always happy to see her. Okay, I'll go for this. Please send the flowers to number 56 Mogenshen Road. Mogenshen Road? That's where my flower shop is. <laughs> Cheng Qianyo, I can't believe you're sending me flowers from my own shop. Are you sincere about this? All right, I'd like to change the address. Please send it to Shifang Group, Binjing Road. I'm going to give it to her when I ask her out for dinner. All right. Fei Xiaowu, recently I've been missing our childhood days a lot. We picked sweet corn and played hopscotch. Lately, I feel my brother is around me. I seem to feel his vibe constantly. You just... miss your brother so much. Don't worry, he'll certainly come back to you. As soon as he recovers his memory, you'll see. Hanging out at your place makes me feel at home. Well, after all, it is your home too. So come whenever you like, huh? <laughs> I wonder if he took that pot of ginger blossom with him. That's dumb. Only the two of you would believe a ginger can actually blossom. You may not believe it and say whatever you want. But that ginger plant really has a special meaning to the two of us. Brother, where are you? Where? I'm right here. Stop thinking. I'll go shower, huh? And you should go to bed early. Okay, here you go. Thanks. This is for you. Do you like it? Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Oh, that's really pretty.
wherever I go, the places are full of memories of me and Liang Sheng. Have a candy while waiting, and you won't feel any bitterness in your heart. Mm. Do you want the pink one or the white one? I want this one. Although there are few stars over the city, I still think of the night that I watched the stars with Liang Sheng. Although I can't see Liang Sheng on the street, I can still feel his presence. Where are you at the moment? I want to see you. Do you know that in the same old city, your sister Chang Sheng is waiting for you to come home? You're my genie? Okay. Hey, thanks. Hey, one lemonade, please. Okay. Hey! Long time no see. We drank together last time. Here's to you. <laughs> Let's have a drink. <laughs> oh, come on. You only took a sip. Hey, bartender. I'll have another one here. Okay. It's on me. Take your hand off uh, me. I'll buy you a drink. I don't want it. Take Have your hand drink. off me! What do you mean by don't that? Don't touch me! Huh? What are you doing? You don't want to drink? I said don't touch me! Don't test my I patience! I said I don't want How it! How dare you! Don't you think it's inappropriate to treat a girl like this, mister? I was talking to my friend. None of your business. Huh? <laughs> Earlier, I saw you smoking in this bar. It wasn't allowed, but I let it slide. Now you're picking up a girl who keeps refusing. Why is that? Looking for someone to drink with you? I can drink with you. I don't want to drink with you. Let's just go. To hell with you. Hey, do you know who that is? He's Bei Shawu. Oh. Here you are. Thank you. Have a nice day. Little boy? Are you here to buy flowers? Mm. Mm. What kind of flowers would you like? Uh, are you going to give it to someone? Mm. Today is my mom's death anniversary. I would like to buy some flowers for her. What flowers did your mom like? Um, I remember she liked... Um, she liked tulips. She liked tulips? Yes. Come. Here. Look at this. Is this the flower you want? Yes. Okay, just a moment. I'll go and wrap them up for you. Look, aren't they beautiful? Yes, miss. <laughs> How much do these flowers cost, miss? Uh, 
Just take it. This will be on the house. No, I... I can't take it for free. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Your mother and my mother are not in this world anymore. So, uh, take this bouquet as a gift. I really can't. Okay. Here you go. Look, you've already paid me, so you didn't take it for free. Hmm? Thank you, miss. You're really, welcome. thank you. Goodbye, miss. Bye-bye. <laughs> You have a new order. Hmm? This customer said her grandma is ill and in bed and can't go out, so she wants to have the house beautifully decorated to make her grandma happy. I'll send her a design draft first. Let mm. her decide when she sees mm. it. Mm. They say hardworking women are the prettiest. <laughs> you are so passionate and full of energy as a shop owner. <laughs> <sighs> it's such a big relief. I was worried you'd be in no mood for anything while thinking about Liang Shang. Hmm. Of course I worry about my brother. But I always knew he never wanted to see me feeling down. So yeah, I cheered myself up. Mm, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Only positive thinking gives positive results. I will not give up looking for him. Once he's back, I'll tell him... I'm now running a flower shop, and then I'll take him here. <laughs> Look, do you think this is okay? And we can add a little bit of this here. There. What do you oh, think? Oh, you're so awesome. <laughs> 决定我心里的季节，为你有的纷乱和惨烈，多美的诗篇。最孤独的少年，露出最幸福的欢颜，坚持要用一生的体贴，说一份感谢。我是火焰，烧起了冷冽，翻身打造温暖的世界。听你许的愿，帮你去实现，生生不息，挚爱不眠。我是蓝天，驱散了云烟，只留晴空，吞染了风雪。让你闻花香，为你扫落叶，生生不息，比永远更永远。爱也许不是牵手带你到终点，而是该放手送你去转泪点。烧起了冷冽，粉身打造温暖的世界。听你许的愿，帮你去实现，生生不息，挚爱不眠。我是蓝天，驱散了云烟，只留晴空，吞染了风雪。让你闻花香，为你扫落叶，生生不息，比永远。